How y'all doing, baby? It's Friday. It is Friday and in family, y'all know what that means. It is Beer and Bud Friday, so get that beer off the ice. Uh, uh, well, today, John's going to have to take a little iced tea. Uh, medicinal purposes, I got new medication, so they don't want me uh, drinking any alcohol, so. Ah, but feel free to get that beer off the ice. Ah, and enjoy whatever beverage you so desire. Also, don't forget to put the butt in the bowl for medicinal purposes. Because we want to relax for the weekend. Take it easy a little bit. Boy, we're fixing to get into some bumpy weather here pretty soon. And I'm not talking about that weather. I'm talking about the weather. Our political climate is going to heat up a little bit, baby. Anyway. That's not what's big in the news. What's big in the news today? Well, hell, didn't you see? We got a new jobs report. That's right, baby. Another 216,000 jobs added for December. Man, boy, that shit, uh, that economy seems to be doing a good, pretty good. As a matter of fact, that story in the news said that it was the best economy since in, in the labor market since the 1950s, baby. I think somebody's doing something right. Yeah. Boy, howdy shit. Joe's doing some good work out there, but if you turn on the news, oh my God, gloom and doom, we're all going destined to die, and the world's on fire. And in places, it is, baby. We have to be concerned about that shit. But this this country, economically speaking, uh, you know, the Fed raised rates 11 times in a row. Now they're thinking about lowering rates. Are you shitting me? Yeah, house market might, might cool off a little bit. Maybe you could afford a house maybe or something later on. We're trying to get there. But if you listen to the news, oh my God, it's the worst it's ever been. And both things are probably true. And, uh, you know, Joe Biden today is up near Valley Forge. He's going to be giving a speech today on the eve of the January 6th insurrection. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing what Joe has to say. He's got a message. He's got a message for all of us, baby. That insurrection that happened three years ago, baby, it's not over. And the insurrectionists are still here. And I'm not talking about Bubba's Backyard Brigade. No, I'm talking about the real insurrectionists, the ones that worked within the government, congressmen and senators that worked in there to try to overturn an election. Those are your true insurrectionists, baby. And they ain't going nowhere. And neither is their glorious leader, Donnie, who's still out there pounding the trail. Uh, you know, we got a, a particular situation coming up now. Uh, in the Supreme Court is going to have to decide if he's going to be able to be on the ballot. In the meantime, boy, how do shit? Let's don't forget the news that, uh, what, Donnie, they, they said Donnie made $7.8 million from foreign governments, including $5 million from China, uh, while he was in the office. That's kind, that's kind of against the law, baby. Now, he said he was going to turn over all his profits to the IRA, to the, the, to the government that he made. No, he didn't. He lied through his teeth again. It was less than a million he gave, 900 something thousand. I don't know what it was. Trump changed compared to what he got. But yet we're going to investigate Hunter Biden up the wazoo because we know Hunter Biden got... Hunter Biden's already uh, confessed to his crimes, paid to... He's offered to make restitution. What have the Trumps done? Oh, what have the Trumps done? Oh, there's a story in the news about the Trump, Kushner, and Saudi Arabia connection. Oh, my God, what could that be about? It's about nothing. Nothing here to say. Yeah. That's what Donnie's going to say. And look at the money Kushner got from Saudi Arabia when he walked out the door. So please spare me your, your, your outrage over Hunter Biden. There's, a, there's, a, there's a, 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 a reckoning coming in this country, baby, and we have to be ready for it. The, uh, oh, shit. Yeah, we got election season coming up. 24 is going to be the hottest one in our lifetime, baby. It's all going to be on the line. Joe's going to be speaking about that, I believe. Democracy being on the line. And it is every day since Donnie came on it came on the scene, since Obama was elected, when the teabaggers came out from underneath their rocks and started to show their outrage that a black man would be in our house. Well, guess what? I was proud of him, and I'm proud of damn Joe Biden. And, and I want you to be too. Take Take a look past the smoke screen of all the bullshit the news is out there trying to spread. Donnie's our man. Yeah, bunch of cockroaches. Anyway, uh, we have work to do, uh, but it is the weekend, so stop, take a chance, uh, enjoy a little, a little iced tea. Enjoy whatever it needs to take uh, a little pressure off the soul because it's what we all need. The best thing you can do every day 
is to put a smile on your face and try to give that shit away. Anyway, y'all take care of yourself. Have a great weekend and we'll see you later. Bye.